So in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can count the number of holes in an object from an image. So this is what we want to achieve. I have already created a project and configured it to use EMGU CV. You can check one of my previous videos how to configure it. Let me go to the process object detection and I can add a new menu item and name it like count holes in object. Double click on it. So this event will be created and the first thing I will do is the try catch so that I have while catch the exceptions. So message box dot show ex dot message. And uh, one thing I will, will make sure is that I have something in my picture box. So picture box one dot image if it equals equals now I will return. Otherwise I will read it. So variable img is equal to new bitmap picture box one dot image and I can convert it into an EMGU structure by using dot to image and I can use it a gray and depth is byte and I can also make a smoothing of it so dot smooth Gaussian and I'm using three kernel size and I can convert it into a thresholding by thresholding. So gray is equal to mg dot threshold inverse because my background is white. So I'm giving gray 200 and it will be replaced with 255 if it is greater than 200. So the next thing is to find the contours I need a vector of vector of points. So I just call it contours is equal to new object of it. And I also need the hierarchy. I call it mate is equal to new mate. And we can then find the contours cv invoke dot find contours and we provide the gray image the contours object and the mate and remember i'm using retrieval type dot tree so this is an interesting thing that i will explain in a chain approximation dot simple so since i'm using the uh, tree it means it will give us the detailed information what does this means in EMGU CV, let's look in the OpenCV website that what this tree actually tells us that this one gives us the hierarchy information. What does this uh, hierarchy information means is that uh, the contours relationship that is the if we use, for example, the contour retrieval tree, this is the hierarchy that we will get what does it means is it will give us the parent and the child relationship so uh, if you look at this image uh, we have different objects over here some objects are inside other objects so if you look at contour number three uh, here are two objects contour id four and five are basically inside the parent object so they become the child objects so every contour has an id and then it will also give us the parent child relationship this relationship is stored in the form of a four dimensional vector the next id of the contour at the same level so you can see here the description from the emgu website and similarly uh, you can see this zero and one are at the same level so they don't they have the same parent or they don't have any parent so you can see zero one and two but inside four and five have the same parent they are at the another level so this these are integer values similarly previous child uh, child id basically first child it, it means there are two children so it will contain the information or the id of the first child for example and the parents and which is the pen for example for this one the parent is 3a so this is how the information is stored the next previous first child and the parent this is important for us to understand 
to keep the hierarchy information. If there is no child or if there is no parent, and then the default, the value that is used is minus one. So we can use this information to find out or the count the number of holes which are present in my contour or not. And if there are, then I can count them. So we will use both the child and the parent information. So as I mentioned earlier, minus one will be used if there is no child or if there is no parent. So if there is no hole, essentially the child will be zero or minus one. So this is what information that we will be uh, exploiting here. So retrieval uh, underscore list, if we use it, you can see this is how the for each contour. So these four information will be stored in the uh, hierarchy information. The next, the previous, the child, first child, and the parent. So minus one, minus one indicates for the retrieval uh, underscore list. It gives us all the information or it gives us all the contours, but there are no relationship. If we do it external as, you, as I have been using, so it gives us only the external information. So the child and the parents will be set to minus one, minus one. If we use retrieval underscore component, then it gives us two level hierarchy information if it is an external contour or if it is an internal contour. If it is one, it means that this is the external contour. If it is two, then it means that it is an internal contour. So this is how it can be distinguished. If you look at this example, the green ones are representing the level. So the red one is the ID. So zero one means it is an external contour. And inside it, there are holes. So uh, the red one is the ID and uh, you can see the green. It means that two means this is an internal contour. So if we need only if it is an ex internal or external, then we can just use the connected component uh, based uh, contour extraction. So this is how the, if we use a retrieval underscore connected component is doing. So it uh, just gives us uh, two level information, whether this is an internal contour or whether this is an external contour. Depending on which situation you need, you can use the uh, retrieval. So when we say retrieval underscore tree, it gives us a complete information about which is inside which contour and how many hierarchies are there. All the detailed information is present. So it is more detailed. We can use this or exploit this information in more useful way. So the contour has two important information. One is the ID, which is unique for every contour. And next is the hierarchy information, whether this is the child, which is next, which is its previous element, and does it has any parent. So all these information will be present in this retrieval underscore tree, which contains a detailed information. As I mentioned, that it will be stored in the form of a, a four dimensional structure and it is stored in like this. So we will be exploiting this one next, previous, and first child and the parent. So mostly I will be using the first child and a parent to count the number of uh, holes present within an object. So which will be stored in this mate object. But I can, I'm not comfortable directly working with mate. So I am going to convert it into a linear array. So we can do it like integer uh, array hierarchy is equal to mate dot get data and here is false it means i'm not getting a jake array and i'm going to make sure that it is cast into an integer so i cast it into an integer and then back into uh, an uh, array so so this made object which is a two-dimensional with as you know there will be four channels so i converted it back into uh, one dimensional array. So you can see that for every contour, I have these four information and that has been converted into a linear array. So to access it, I need to, for example, if I want the parent information, I need to use an index. So let us first one thing I will do is create a mask. So variable mask img dot copy blank. So I will be writing the contours over here. And now I will loop through all the contours and for each contour, I will count the number of holes present in it. So that's why I will go from 
i is equal to zero to the size of contours dot size and one more thing that i will do is to make sure that contours are a little bigger to analyze so i will find the area so variable area is equal to cv invoke dot contour area for each contour using the index i am finding the area and if this area is let's say if it is greater than 50 then i'm i'm comfortable working with so it is enough for me and another thing that i want to find is which is the parent contour i want to find out the parent of the current contour so you know this is the linear array but i have converted that four dimensional array and so for each contour i have four entries so to access for this one i will be using i multiply by four plus three because index is zero one two three so it will be on three next one will be four five six seven and the next one is eleven so the parent is present at these locations so i get the parent if this parent equals equals minus one which means that it is not an internal contour it is an uh, an object without any parent so that's what i want to analyze now if its parent is equal to minus one it means it doesn't has any uh, is an internal control now i can process it and this is what this line is giving me the count of the number of holes present in this object and here i am using the link query so you need to understand i am writing variable count is equal to hierarchy dot where I'll be using two parameters for the lambda expression. One is the parent, that is the contour itself, and another is the index, because uh, now this is the lambda expression, and I am only looking for the parent index. So I want to find out all the contours whose parent is current i, or I am looping through all the contours. So first thing I need to check is the parent so to find out the parent what i need to do j plus one percentage four so every fourth element is basically giving us the information about the parent is as i mentioned that the the first one is the next previous first child and at the fourth index i have this one so the this first condition is only to find out the checking out the parent so as as i shown you this one so i'm just only looking at the fourth index so this is the first condition will tell me and the next condition is on the parent or how many parents have the i uh, how many contours have the parent as this current i that is p equals equals i so this one will tell me that uh, for the and then i need the count so this is the line that is basically counting me and giving me all the contours for each contour or the holes you can say here are two things that i mentioned that this is the contour pre pre present contour and this is uh, just to check the parent that how many contours i have whose parent is my current contour that is uh, a ith contour is the parent so it means that i am going to count all those sub contours present in it and once i get it i can display a count at the location for example i can use the bounding rectangle of the contour and uh, i for the current contour i get the uh, contours and then using the left top corner i can put a text so that's why i am using it bounding box i just need to push it a little bit up so y i can say minus equals equals of five so that i can clearly see the text there and you can use anything or display anywhere information anywhere so cv invoke dot put text i am g comma and the text i want to show is the number of holes is equal to plus how many holes do we have for each contour so count dot two string count will give us the holes for each and this is the location where i want to show b box dot location and also we can give the font face dot 
explain and also we can give a scale as, as it is and we can give it color so it should be because the background is white so I should make it dark and once we have I will use my custom method to display in the tree box so the image dot convert bgr comma byte and we can give it a name holes object <laughs> okay and then we can write picture box one dot image is equal to image dot to bitmap okay i forgot to put this one and it is time to see the results so let me file open and we can select the same image as i used in previous video file detect object count holes in the object so you can see that for this one there are no holes and for the objects with the holes it gives me the count of the holes present in the object so this is how we can count the number of objects present number of holes present in the objects i hope this video is useful for you and hope to see you in another video